All right, uh, welcome to another lecture. In this lecture, we're going to go ahead and uh, put a stairs in uh, from first floor to second floor and also from a basement to uh, 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 first floor. Let's look at the uh, project browser, the uh, elevation view, one of the elevation view. Uh, if we look at the south elevation view, we can see that uh, the first floor is at zero elevation, second floor is nine feet elevation. So we need to make a stairs going from first to second basically go nine feet up and let's see how many steps it takes. But before we get this, uh, let's take a look at this. So one of the things about stairs is that there's a code. Uh, per code like International Building Code, the maximum height of the riser is about seven and three quarter inch. And, the, and uh, also the minimum tread is from uh, here to all the way in, to the end is about 11 inches. What we like to use is use this rule called seven 11 rule. So 7 inch we're going to use for riser and 11 inch for the thread. Uh, of course, if you look at the code, it depends on which state and which town. They might have a little bit slightly different what they have in international building code. So that's what we're going to use. And let's go back here. And I, our uh, problem is uh, we have uh, uh, f f level 1, as we saw, the first floor to the second floor is about nine feet. So we want to know how many steps it will take from a, f a first floor to the second floor. We're going to use seven inch riser. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and calculate it. We're going to use nine, uh, nine feet time 12, make it an inch, divided by seven inch, and that will give us about 15.4 uh, two steps, which kind of nuts, really. Uh, either we can use 15 or we use next 16, which even number is better. So let's say if we use 15 uh, uh, steps, so that'd be 9 divided by 15 times 12 to make it an inch, and that will give us about, each riser would be 7.2 inches. But what happened if we use 16? Let's use, uh, let's use 16 steps of riser. So that's going to be 9 times 12 divided by 16 and that comes out to be 6 and 3 quarter inch or 6.75. So let's go ahead and make this to uh, uh, 6 and 3 quarter inch riser. And when we do that, again, the thread per code, we're going to stay with here. That would be going to be 11 inches. And I'd like to know what is the length of our stair from a, a big to there. So our length is going to be, uh, we have, uh, we got uh, 16 steps if we use, if we use 16. So take one out for here and take one out for there. That will be 16 minus 2 will be 14. So I got 14 times 11 this divided by 12, and that will come out to be, oh, where's my cake? Okay, 12.83, so 12 feet and 10 inches. And now that's too long if we just go ahead and make one straight shot. Let's make it a, a go up and go on a landing and turn down. That kind of looks nice too. So basically this number, divide this number by two, that becomes six and uh, six feet, point four five inches. Okay, so now we had this. Let's come back here and uh, go back to pro same project browser. Come all the way down until you can find the stairs. Um, stairs, stairs, it's right here. And if you expand it, become assembly stairs. And if you uh, expand that, it become residential uh, close to site. And then if you right click right here and hit uh, type property, you're gonna come back here, just what we talked about. The maximum riser is 7 inches, the maximum uh, minimum thread depth is 11 inches, and minimum run width is 3 feet. That's what we talked about. This program is pretty smart. They've done a really good job. Uh, it will calculate all that stuff for us as we go along, we uh, lay out the stairway. So, All right, so we're going to come up here and we're going to do some uh, detail line uh, to put the stairs in. This is just like the drawing we did at the beginning of the... Um, lecture. So you don't have to use detail line, you can just use a stair command. But let's try it. So go up here to uh, 
from Architect go to Anatoid. Go to Anatoid, and from Anatoid, is click Detail Line. And I want to be about my landing. I want to be about three feet, away, three feet two inches away from here. So I'm going to come in this corner, and as I come down right here, type in three space two enter. That will put me right there. And I'm going to go across eight feet. The eight feet come from three feet. 2 feet and 3 feet. I'll explain in a minute. So I'm going to go over here and type in 8. Enter and never me down here. And remember, we found out the length of the staircase for uh, 8 riser was, uh, 8 step was 6 feet 5 inches. So I'm going to type in 6 feet space 5. Enter. That brings me right there. I'm going to come back and the width of the staircase is going to be basically three feet. So three feet, enter, and then I'm going to go back up, tie them back up here, and then go do two feet space between them. Uh, just type in two. Oh, and let me, two, enter. So I'm going to come down and uh, type in right here and connect it over here. And then you hit escape for good luck. And there's what we have. We're going to go up, go on a landing, come back up again. And let's connect this to here and landing. I'm going to click right here and tie that. There we go. Enter, escape. So this is what we have. Now we can use the stair command to go up and down and turn around here. And do the stair using this detail line. Come up here, go to Architect, from the Architect, go to Stair Command. You click the Stair Command, um, look at the Option Bar. The Option Bar, you have a Location Run Center Line, and Actual Run Width is 3 feet, which we already made it. And uh, if you come back up here and the Property Palette, click Edit Type, we have this again. And you can see the, uh, uh, the minimum run width is 3 feet, which we have selected. And we have the riser and the thread depth also. Uh, one of the things you want to know is the base level is that we're going from first floor and we're going to top second floor. And that way the ribbon calculates the stuff itself. So we're going to come up here. We're going up this way. We turn. We come back down this way. So click right here at the center line. Pay attention to the writing below my cursor right here, okay? As I go up, it says two riser, 14 to go. 3 riser, 13 to go, see it? As it's at the bottom right. So I'm going to go all the way up here and click right there. Then we're going to go across. But before we go across, we're going to come up here. We're going to change the location from the center line to run left. Okay? So we're going to come back in here and go all the way to the left and click and come back this way and finish it up right there. And once you did that, you're going to click the green check mark. And there's our stair. Let's look at it and see how it looks. Um, one way you can do that, you go up here, click the, like the arrow next to the 3D. And there's a camera. And we're going to put the camera right here. Take a look and see what we've done. Air, that's good. And there's our staircase. You go up, turn it up. And go up again. Okay, uh, let me close this back out. So this was the uh, uh, stair from the first floor for a second floor. Let's go to the basement. All right, uh, go to the basement plan, and where we are, the basement plan. We're going to put the stairs here. We're not going to use the detail line this time. We're just going to go ahead and put an L-shaped stairway in here. So come up to the architect. Go to the uh, stair command right there. From Steer Command, come to the Property Palette. Let's change the Type Selector. And here, you want to click down and go to Open Two Side because it's L shape. Then I want to make sure I'm running left right there. Run left. And here it's going to go from basement to the first floor. Rivet usually go from one floor to the next available elevation, which is foundation. But I want to go to the first floor. Click on that and go to the first floor. So now you have basement to first floor. And come back in here, and Rivet is pretty smart to figure things out. 
So I'm going to click this corner and I'm going to go 5 feet 6 inches or 7 step or 7 riser. You can see the rising down bottom says 6, 7, 5, 6. And I'm going to click right there. And make sure you line up pretty good. If you don't line up, it's going to give you error. Line up right there, go straight across. And click. And then come back down. And it'll tell you where the end of the stairway is right there. So you're going to click the end of the stairway. And there it is. And I tried this a couple of times, I got error because I did not line up this line here. So you might have the same issue. If you do, that's what it is. Now you did this, click the check mark. And by the way, one thing, if you don't want a railing here, you could have gone up here and changed the railing. Let's look at it, see how it looks. Go up here and click the camera. And let's look at it from this view uh, right this way. See how it came out. Ah, there it is. Uh, you can uh, go in there and see it even better. Okay, so uh, I hope that was uh, useful, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Have a good day.